In this video I will demonstrate how to prepare SD card with everything on it, including U-boot, kernel and file system. In the first step we need to prepare first stage U-boot, which is called also MLO, and this is only the minimum U-boot, which uh, basically supports only SD card. As you can see, we need to compile U-boot first. This one. Clean all the old files. Set the parameter we are going to compile the minimum U boot. Compile the U boot. The U boot has been compiled. Go back to our list. Okay. We will rename the file. and copy the file to this special directory where is the script for uh, which we will use to create the SD card now we are going to prepare U-boot for NAND or SPI depends uh, what memory you would like to use to store the environmental variables I will compile this U-boot uh, for and memory. It's basically the same for NAND or SPI, only the switch is different. This switch here is NAND or here is SPI. wait until the image is ready. We have the image ready now. We are going back. And uh, we will copy the image. Now we need to prepare kernel. Compile the kernel. Go to this directory. Clean all the old files. Load the default configuration for our hardware. make the image. Now the kernel has been compiled and uh, we just copy the image to our TFTP server. Don't forget to do this. We are going to prepare file system. Go to this directory. And uh, pack all the file system files into one zip file. 
the image has been uh, compressed copy the file and uh, let's go to the directory where the script is located now let's check uh, how SD card is mounted we can see our SD card is uh, mounted on SDC1 and SDC2 we need to unmount these two now we will go use this command the command we'll use uh, has to select the SD card and we'll use the MLO file uboot file kernel image and file system what we have just created and wait until the SD card uh, the SD card has been created now just unplug and plug the card back to your SD card reader and uh, <coughs> as you can see two partitions were created on the SD card one is with uh, file system on it and the second one is with these three files MLO file is loaded as a first one and there is uh, only one function of this MLO file it's to load the proper uboot and then uboot use the uh, command line to load image from the SD card in uh, our case if we want to boot from if you want to do full boot from SD card we have to add uh, one more file which uh, has uh, the script commands in it and these commands will run after the uboot boots up and let's go to the file <coughs> go to this directory create this file and copy these commands to the file again check everything what is in it and uh, edit it to your needs for example the console output save the file run this command this command will create the boot scr file which is the script what can be started by uboot and now we will copy the script file to SD card at this moment we can uh, start we can uh, take out the SD card and plug it in into our board and reboot the board I'm uh, connecting the power and here I will interrupt the booting process as you can see here is the first MLO uboot we just load uboot binary and start it this is the second uboot which normally would start then the script file but because I already saved uh, the environmental variables on my board it doesn't start automatically but if you use it first time it will it will run the script on your board 
if it doesn't run the script because we already have the variables saved in uh, SPI or NAND memory uh, you can just add these commands and save them to your current environmentals I'll do that now I will set it as you can see my environmental variables were saved into NAND now when I reboot the board the environmental variables from the NAND will be used and the card will boot from SD it's loading the image from SD card and it's also running the it mounts the as file system on the SD card okay it's done